It was uh, dedicated to one of the then Republican uh, primary candidates uh, for the nomination, Herman Cain. It's called Manhood of 99 Santas. <laughs> it's available on my website. But anyway, uh, until it's not. And, but anyway, this year, uh, a couple months ago, some cables uh, got leaked by some organization that leaks uh, you know, official documents. I don't know what, who they would be. Uh, but they were U.S. government uh, cables that indicated that the Pentagon, in the Pentagon's own opinion, uh, two-thirds of the people uh, who were uh, detained at Guantanamo Bay, uh, according to the Pentagon, had never had any connection with terrorism or any, any attack against the United States. They were 14-year-old kids, they were old people with dementia, they were a motley bunch who uh, were rounded up because the Pakistanis like to get the $5,000 bounty for turning in Afghans, uh, various things like that. So it, it occurred to me that this might be a good Christmas. <laughs> you got whiplash yet? <laughs> to, uh, in, in our, only in our imaginations, to travel down there. So here is a little song called When Santa Claus Came to Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> The elves had to show picture ID. The reindeers got special screening. The gifts were all x-rayed, then thrown away, despite Santa intervening. A 14-year-old got a new bar of soap shoved through the slot in his door. Somebody's driver got a gift card from Saks and a coupon for lawyers to get him some more. Seagulls were filling the light blue sky while drones and choppers flew lazily by. The Cuban sun shone so brightly that day when Santa Claus came to Guantanamo Bay. was overjoyed. He opened his empty box first. The guards had removed all the ribbon and wrap from the ones called the worst of the worst. They roughly impounded Rudolph's red nose. It set off all kinds of alarms. The party was running some 12 hours late for its scheduled departure to Midwestern farms. Castro was having a fortified drink, not really knowing what he should think or what he should take several hours to say when Santa Claus came to Guantanamo Bay. to the crew. It must have made Santa so proud that on this one night, heavy metal was gone. It was carols being played much too loud. The jolly old fellow brought a message of light, gifts mightier than swords. But he couldn't resist while there for the night, putting some elves on the water board. The light blue sky while drones and choppers flew lazily by. The Cuban sun shone so brightly that day when Santa Claus came to Guantanamo Bay. To Guantanamo Bay. To Guantanamo Bay.
Fernando.